Good morning, y'all. What I have going here is rose hip jam. These were the dehydrated ones. May not look very red because my spoon's kind of a tan color. But yeah, this this juice is getting extremely red. I don't have access to fresh ones, so I use the ones that are dehydrated. And I buy these. Um, they are organic. They are kosher. Uh, and I find I like them a lot. There's a lot of flavor in these. So you can always order those online if you're like me and can't get access to them. What I've done is um, put the rose hips in with six cups of water. You want to bring this to a boil, which I don't know if you can tell in there. It's pretty much coming to one now. And once it hits boil stage, you want to put the heat on, cover it, simmer it for one hour. So what you can also do is if you can actually get your hands on the real rose hips, um, you want to pick enough for two quarts. And you're going to take them, of course, wash them off and all that. And you're going to give them the same treatment. Put them in a pan with six cups of water. Ideally, what you want to end up with is three cups of juice for a single batch. Um, so by all means, if you can get your, your rose hips fresh, I would say go for it once they've been in there. Um, you'll know they're done when, when you can mash them. You want to be able to mash them to get the juice and stuff to flow out because then we're going to put it in a cloth and and strain it where we have juice only because we all I think probably know about what's inside the the little uh, rose hips there and they might go in easier but they come out really rough from what I understand so I'm going to do juice only okay so this is about to go on simmer for an hour because I have a slow boil going here and so I will be back so what you're going to do from here is when it's finished cooking, you're going to use a potato masher and you're going to mash up your rose hips and your elderberries into a rough puree. You're going to put them in cheesecloth. You want very fine cheesecloth. And you're going to let that stand for at least an hour. And when that's finished, you want to squeeze it so that we get all of the juice from, from these berries. You're going to need three cups of juice for this recipe. And if you have just a little less, then you can add boiling water or even water. Just make sure that you have the three cups. You're going to put that back in the pot. And at this point, you are going to add your lemon juice, ginger, and your pectin. And you're going to bring it to a boil dissolving all your pectin. And the same as with all other jams, once the pectin is dissolved, you're going to add all your sugar at once. Once that has all dissolved, then you're going to add your butter and you're going to bring it to the hard boil, which is one that you cannot reduce it by stirring it down. And it is going to bubble and you're going to boil it exactly one minute. Pour this mixture, of course, into your prepared jars. Wipe the rims. And you're going to water bath this for 10 minutes. And you're going to get this beautiful jam. I really messed this up because I forgot to film. It was, at, it was when Dana was um, doing her live stream there on Thursday. I was working on this. And um, I had forgotten my pectin the day before. So I'm sorry, this is a really messed up video, but enjoy it. It really is good. Tart, sweet, with a ginger punch. Have a good one. God bless you all.